Bonnie, tonight, no question, the summer craze is here. Are your kids, your grandkids playing? Better yet, are you playing? ABC's David Wright reports. Family members and friends are now saying, catch me if you can. It's a Japanese fad from the 90s, given new life in the era of smartphones. Pokemon, pocket monsters, jumping from the Game Boy right into the palm of your hand. Pokemon Go uses the GPS data from your cell phone to let you track Pokemon in the real world. We're in Central Park. The creators call it augmented reality, putting the colorful little creatures right in your path. Pikachu, Charizard, Magikarp, Goldene. Today, the National Park Service noted disturbing reports of Charmanders and Jigglypuffs roaming around the grounds of the Washington Monument, asking Pokemon players to be respectful. The NYPD is playing it too, but they and others warn, play carefully. The game, so popular, it's now number one on iTunes, adding $9 billion to Nintendo's bottom line in just one week. I'm on the hunt. Are you? Pokeballs at the ready. David Wright, ABC News, New York. I think David Wright is still missing somewhere in Central Park. We got to go find him. I'm David Muir. Thanks for watching on a Monday. I hope to see you right back here tomorrow. From all of us here, David included, good night.